Energy question one. There are many different energy resources. Which two energy resources are renewable? Tick two boxes. Okay, so I've got to tick two boxes. It's worth two marks. Um, so energy resources, I've got a list here. Renewable, I've got to remember that renewable does not mean can be made again. What it means is it won't run out. And the reason it won't run out is because it can be made quicker than it's used. Okay, really common mistake to say it can be used again and it can't. Okay, so which two won't run out and can be made quicker? Well, coal, you can't make it very quickly. Okay, it takes millions of years to make. So it's not coal, it's not gas, it also takes millions of years to make. Nuclear fuel, okay, it will eventually run out. It's it's it takes an awful long time to be made. It's only made the fuel there is only made inside super massive stars when they explode. So it's not that. So it's biofuel. Bio means living, it's grown. So it is that one. And geothermal. So geo earth and thermal heat. Heat from the earth. Okay, and that will keep going, it won't ever run out. Question B. Some non renewable energy resources are more reliable than others. Which statement correctly describes a reliable resource? And this is a tick one box only, so it's going to be worth one mark. There we go, yeah. Uh, I'm looking for reliable. So reliable is all about trust. Okay, so reliability and trust are very similar. So it does not burn fuel. It's definitely not that. It is predictable. Okay, well that looks pretty good. Uh, predictable means that you know what's going to happen. Linked to trust. It won't ever run out. Well, no, that's not about reliability. That's about um, about whether or not it will run out and that, that's a it's cheap to use as affordability so reliable is definitely predictable so look at part C so we've got a figure one shows a wind farm the total power output of the wind farm is 19.6 capital M W that's megawatts okay so that's mega and mega is just means times a million. So whenever we see mega, all it means is times a million. All of the wind turbines have the same power output. What is the to What is the power output of one wind turbine? Okay, and we've got to tick one box. So one wind turbine, the total power output is 19.6. Uh, how many wind, uh, wind turbines are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven turbines give us a total of 19.6 megawatt. So one turbine, so one turbine is a seventh of that. Okay, so all we've got to do is divide 19.6 divided by one point up uh, divided by seven, nineteen point six divided by seven equals two point eight megawatts, which is there. Excellent. Next question. Give two reasons why people might not like having wind turbines near their homes. It's worth two marks. Okay, so two things that people might not like about having near their homes. Well, they don't look nice. how they look okay and in particular what we're talking about here is visual pollution so pollution is anything that happens that we don't like that we don't want so visual pollution okay some people might say they sound so we might get noise pollution could be another one here they might not like them because of the noise pollution um, I'm gonna add some few a few here they might say they're dangerous to birds so danger to birds okay they might say they might um, affect their house prices you might get shadows or that's probably visual as well okay so lots of different reasons why people don't like them uh, near their homes they might say that um, they might have extra traffic required to build them things like that but they're the the main two 
are how they look and how they might sound. And if you've ever been close to a wind turbine, you can hear the, the blades sort of swooshing through the air. Uh, and occasionally you can even hear squeaking if it's not lubricated very well. Okay, hope that helps.